Hey guys, Chris with RC Worst here. Welcome back to another great video. Today we've got a short one for you. We're just talking about submersible pump cable uh, as it relates to well pumps. So your submersible well pump cable. So a lot of you might be familiar with this. This is your traditional twisted submersible pump cable and a relatively new player in the market, um, or at least it's becoming much more commonplace now is this flat jacketed wire. So I wanted to take a minute and just talk to you about kind of the pros and cons and some of the differences between the twisted and the flat jacket. So uh, the twisted I like to think of is your uh, everyday go-to wire for uh, relatively light duty applications. We tend to only use this twisted wire in instances where the well is relatively shallow. That way if there was a problem with the wire it's not going to be substantially expensive uh, to pull that out and replace that wire. That said, the uh, the heavy duty wire or the double jacketed is basically, and as I'm sure you can see here, it's got the same color uh, scheme. So we've got our ground, our red, our yellow, and our black. And it actually has the same coating that your twisted wire is gonna have, but then it also has a secondary coating over top of that, and that's this black sheath that you see here. And this is a pretty thick material that can uh, withstand a lot of abrasion and so forth. The other benefit of the flat jacket, so you can see this is quite flat in comparison to this. Now these two are quite a bit different in size. I'd say this is probably size 12, and this is probably size 10 or eight. Um, it doesn't have it listed on here, but so uh, the, the, uh, the difference would be even more significant if these two sizes of wire were identical. This is just what I happen to have some pieces of laying around. Um, so it's gonna be much more protected. It's also a lower profile. So in the instance that you've got, a, let's say a four inch diameter well and you're putting a four inch pump in it, or you've got a six inch diameter well and you're putting a six inch pump in it, that you can get quite tight clearances in those wells, especially the deeper they are, because a well, you've gotta remember, is never drilled perfectly straight. Typically the shallower the well, you know, the more chance or the more likely that it's relatively straight. But in really deep wells, oftentimes they kind of meander back and forth uh, on the way down there. And so you run into situations where your wire could or will be rubbing against the casing uh, or the, the walls of the well rather. And so having that extra layer of protection as well as that lower profile is a good insurance policy. So what is the reason that you maybe wouldn't want to use the flat jacketed wire on every situation because it's just better all around? Well, the main prohibitive reason is that the flat jacketed wire is basically double the cost of the, the standard twisted cable. It's quite a bit more expensive, but in my opinion, specifically when you're selecting wire, wire is one of those components that typically is a lifetime component. Wire I look at as a 40 year item. Uh, you know, if, if you're replacing your well pump, oftentimes you're not replacing your wire uh, unless you're changing size of your pump or your motor. So it's kind of a good investment to go with the heavier duty wire that can withstand more times being pulled out of the well and put back in the well and has that heavier duty uh, casing to protect it. Whereas this, this twisted, like I said, if you've got a relatively shallow well, easy access, you do all this work yourself, you're not concerned about it, wanna just go the cheap, cheaper route, this is still a great product. Don't get me wrong, this was kind of the mainstay for many, 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 many years. The vast majority of well pumps we're replacing to this day still are, we're pulling this stuff out of the ground. Very rarely do we come across a well that's already got this in the ground because it's just, it wasn't quite as commonplace back then. So those are the pros and cons. If you want to compare prices, you can see both of these wire prices on our website, rcworst.com. So check those out. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. We will catch you next time.